and welcome to the sixth tutorial in this one i'll be talking about shorting a list and shorting a list i'll be using sort of a real life scenario in which you may want to use include in your diagrams presentations so on and so forth so let's dive into this one so this is basically my oops uh, this is basically my uh, massings, urban massings, and let's say I want to sort them based on their heights. And I, how I would be doing that, so I'll definitely use a sort list, but how I'll be using it is the key here. So let's take all this uh, volumes as my B-Rap, set multiple B-Raps, and we have some 60 something something b reps 600 something something b reps and i want since my aim is to have their heights i need to get their heights now i would be doing that in order to define their heights i need to put them into a bounding box first and then i need to measure the height of that bounding box and then i can go into the sorting phase so i'll grab the bounding box I put the content in as my volumes plain x y is fine you see per object if you right click to this and union box it will create a bounding box on that particular list okay but we don't want that so i would be saying no to this and then i go back to analysis and deconstruct box and what this component does this component does basically takes a box and takes it, understands its plane, measures its x dimension, y dimension, and z dimension as a uh, as a domain. So as yes, you see here, so I go to math and then grab deconstruct domain. And I'll be since I'll be focusing on z, I can only take out the z. And what I'll be doing using math, I'll be taking out the end domain from the start domain so they will be putting all these heights onto the buildings right why don't we put this like why don't we put a tag text tag and we put this onto these b wraps and how we can do that we can take out this information as my as my text and the location for that text would be somewhere in between like let's say um let's say the volume or the centric like let's say centroid of this bounding boxes if i put this in this is my location and you see it shows me height of that yeah i can preview this off now shows me preview this off too but it's unfortunately Oops, why it's showing two buildings or two values here? Oh, we have something here already. As a building. So why don't we maybe like, I don't know, take it out. Let's just leave it as it is. So what we see is the it takes information, but this doesn't sit right. So we can round them, right? Round these results and put this result on so what we see here is basically the height of every single building and how we are going to sort them so short list is basically working with two things keys list of sortable keys and the values so the keys are basically the numeric values that we would like to sort and the values are the lists of the geometries that we want to sort in so at this point, what I'm seeing as my sorted keys, it's basically sorted my values or the buildings starting from 19 meters. And then if I pull out a panel and show you, it shows you buildings on 90 meters. So what I'll be doing here is basically if I grab a list item and then if I connect my value, my zero value is going to be 19 right here. As I see so let's see how it looks uh, maybe I can do this all off 
or because I won't be able to see otherwise. And let's try to see this green guy. Yeah. So if I over over here, you see my first building, the shortest building is 19 meters and it's being here. Maybe I can grab a concatenate and put this value here and grab a panel and then put meters as my here. So, and then if I connect this, not the location, obviously, that's my text. What I'll be seeing is the meters. Well, the, now this, the, the problem is, okay, I sort these, but how would I be showing this, right? One thing that I can do is I can grab all this since they are now sorted in kind of a list. What I can do is I can put these guys as a line, like they, I can align these here. So why don't we grab an X, Y, Z, like construct point and like let's say I'll construct them maybe I can move them up a bit here and for the X coordinate what I can say is or yeah for the X coordinate what I can say is create a series and that series goes to I don't know like step value is like let's say 15 meters and count is going to be my list length. If you remember from the previous videos, uh, I'll be grabbing a list length here. So length is going to be my count. And sorry, this is not correct. If I put this here, I'm having my points here. However, the problem with these is, the problem with these points are, is basically they are, uh, super close to one another why don't we have 50 as my value here and what i see here is 668 points 668 b reps but the problem is just for the visualization what i'm seeing is it's going here to left but i want to sort them zero to right so what i'll be doing is i'll just multiply this with minus one by using negative component so then what i'll be doing is basically since i know the height of every single point right i know the heights what i'll be doing is i'll be putting all these points and i'll be what i'll be doing i'll be basically taking all these points and orient them right onto these guys onto these points. but before i orient them i want to make sure that they are all in the same height so if now i orient this geometries like these geometries from their centroids from their i put this a volume from their centroids and connect it. This is my source and this is my target. But I see here, okay, I put the buildings, they are here, but they put, they go down. Maybe I can show you, you see they go down here, which I don't want. That's why I want to make sure my points, heights is enough to set them on the same ground. So what I'll be doing is I'll be Dividing this into two. Remember, this is the height of my buildings. And grab this in. And these are my Z coordinates. And now what I'm seeing is, as you see, they are being put over here. But what is the problem here? Well, the problem here is obviously their heights. Uh, their heights are not uh, aligned. So what we can do to fix this is maybe uh, maybe use the, not the volumes, but the 
midpoint or the like the or let's let's leave it as it is for now okay and one thing that we can do we want to do is we want to basically uh color these right based on their height so if i or both of these basically because what i want to, to do is basically based on their heights i want to color them and i want to track the same color on here as well so i'll grab a preview custom preview i'll be previewing my first e-wraps here so that i can maybe preview as well with a gradient right click to it maybe a preset of i don't know this guy the lower limit and the higher upper limit so what we are going to do is basically having the since we have this like results over here um we can delete this we don't need any we can what we can do is we can have their heights as my uh as my information and i have my keys here as well so i can always go and say bound my keys minimum maximum is obviously there so i can deconstruct this bound sorry deconstruct this um, domain and the parameter is going to be my keys and connect this over here and i see the longer the buildings it get they get the reddish they become so the reddest one supposed to be uh i don't know what is it 90 so 90 is somewhere not sure what it is somewhere here oh no this is not correct this is not correct because we what we are doing is we are trying to you see it's basically sorting from left to right so we are using the wrong values here what we have to do is we have to use this value and this is my parameter now i know that the longest the longer my building become the red dish it's become as well kind of a thing so let's see if this is correct yes it seems correct and what we can do we can use the same thing to create these buildings on here as well but it's completely up to you now what i'll be doing is i'll be having this like the same organization here if you want to okay or i mean what we can do is a bit like um faster route but we haven't touched upon meshes so what i'll be doing i'll be just copying and pasting this copy this copy this copy this copy this all and copy this and paste this here contents and this is going to be the buildings okay so this is kind of the like the length that we are seeing here i mean obviously it's super super like long right now uh what you probably want to do is two sets of lines uh two sets of information so what we can do here instead of using this length um we can use three sets of lines maybe maybe not it's completely up to you and one thing to mention here is you have sorted your buildings color those buildings and you can show this as your site analysis and this is basically and this is basically it for this video i hope you i hope you uh like this content and i'll see you in the next one where we talk about replacing some items